day if you do not build a system that makes for efficiency you will never pray consistently randomly you will have to intentionally look at your life and program a system it requires discipline to remain prayerful are we together now yes i give you an instance let's assume that this brother is for instance a hundred level student or in secondary school or a hundred level student in unilag no matter how busy he or she is there will still be some time to pray now when this brother uses the same template of his prayer life 10 years ago now that he's working maybe he's on two jobs married with a wife and has three children the responsibilities that come with that realm of living cannot allow that you use your former template of prayer this man can the, the university can go on break and he can use that time to catch up but now the job that he's doing may hardly give him a leave so you will need to redesign a system intentionally there are people because of their lifestyles they may not be able to pray effectively in the morning there's no point telling that lie you can just thank god and celebrate him while you are taking a shower very quickly but your advantage based on your lifetime will be the night time so you will have to obtain grace to conquer slumber so that you will catch up for other people because of the nature of their job from morning till afternoon they are free they can have quality time other people have jobs that are two weeks on two weeks off and you can redesign your life we have to be honest about our prayer life randomly believing you pray anyhow anytime you will never be consistent that way praise the lord it is important same thing goes for bible study there are people who have to wake up by five every day because of the nature of their job and you've not been promoted to a rank that affords you the opportunity to come late you're not going to use your spiritual life as an excuse for inefficiency at the place of work so it is your your you have to work with the holy spirit and the spirit of wisdom to redesign a strategy for some people weekdays they may not have the time to be efficient but weekends are a real advantage instead of traveling around going to a cinema house and remember that we are transient we are growing and someday we'll have the liberty to be able that's why poverty is bad have you seen some of the dangers of poverty because it eats up your time when we trust god for the blessing it's not because we are carnal it is because it can free you up some space so that you can decide to lock yourself and say as for me and my house today we are seeking the face of god and you can pay the price financially speaking for remaining with god In the name of Jesus, may poverty and hardship be far from everybody's life. Most people do not know what poverty does. Even those who talk a lot about money, it's just an obsession from a standpoint of lust. Poverty is a dangerous weapon in the hand of Satan. It can not only distract your spiritual life, it can eat up your time so you don't have any other thing again. The little time you have to seek God, that time will be eaten up by the time you receive the PTA letter. And you look at it as though it was a death sentence. You look at the PTA letter and the school fees has been multiplied times two. And you're now wondering, where will I get an extra job? The night time that you would have now used for God must be used in outsourcing other resources. That's why the saints must be blessed. It is not to show up. The agenda is bigger than that. I made up my mind as a person that I will never, never serve money in my life. I will serve His Majesty and the resources that come from the wisdom of this system will serve me. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Is God blessing us already? So you must make sure you, 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 an attack on your prayer life is a real attack. Families must pray. You know, nowadays, and, and I'm saying it respectfully, most family meetings you know prayer altar or how you call it most times it happens when there are emergencies when there's a quarrel to settle corporately when there's something to discuss when you know all of that but it ought not to be so 
we must pray we must pray we must pray we must pray we must trust God for grace to pray and when you are praying let me advise as much as God grants you grace carry this thing away from you when you are praying this is a blessing but this can also be used by demons praise the Lord the kind the Bible says the fervent and effectual prayer it's not any prayer that creates effect you have to put your heart in this thing not that you pray two minutes you are quickly responding to an email another two minutes and you check ah you mean this is the guy that won the boxing my god he didn't look like he was strong you see those things are they are not evil but they are weights the bible says seeing that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside not everything is sinful but there are things that are unnecessary luggages Praise the Lord. When you are praying, you have to pray seriously. Because sometimes the devil will program people. Just when you pray, they want to watch a movie. And they say, please, can you borrow me your living room? Or borrow me somewhere. Let me just watch a film. There's a soup opera. I can't miss this part. The part I've been waiting for. See, some of those things, you can turn everywhere in your house to an altar. Your toilet can be an altar. As small as it is, you can lock yourself there. It's one of, you can pray there and say, Lord, while you are you are lifting me to have and build my own prayer room, I, you, you can use your bedroom, you can use your living room, because I can be a madman to my father there. Lord, thank you. You can dance and dance and celebrate him. Please let our prayer lives come alive. Let's not pretend this thing. Let your prayer life come alive if you must put an alarm to discipline yourself for a while put it slumber can be a spirit sleep is a blessing but slumber is a cause there is a big difference he giveth his beloved sleep he doesn't give them slumber slumber is a way of eating time it's a devourer so the bible says the keeper of israel even the sleep he gives he doesn't sleep talk more of slumbering Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.